Hi, it's Shen Shen. So this episode, I'm going to share with you how to make the dumpling dough. Actually, I'm going to make the dumpling for the uh, Chinese New Year Eve dinner. It's actually today, 2014, January 30s. So um, I also have other videos to share with you guys about uh, different kinds of uh, uh, means we put stuff inside of dumpling, such as a ground pork with uh, bachoy cabbage, with mushroom, with different kinds. You come to my website, which is www.shenshenhui.com. I'm going to leave down below. Check about other dumpling recipes and how to do that. So this is a basic one, how to make the dough. You may can find um, dumpling wrappers also in the grocery store. Um, but actually, from the grocery store, I have to say, um, I don't really like it because they are not strong enough. You know, they, they usually you can find it in the frozen area, but after you come back and uh, uh, make it into the dough and fold it, especially the stuff, the pork inside of it, sometimes it's not strong enough because it's been frozen before. So usually I prefer it's just a homemade one. I make myself and cook it directly so it can hold and stuff more pork mince inside of the dumpling and also taste it better. So that's the difference. Another thing that is, if you truly want to buy some wrappers from the grocery store, don't go to the grocery store, I mean like HEB, but go to the China, Chinatown grocery store. Uh, they have better selections and better choices for the wrappers, so trust me about that. But anyway, come down here. Um, I'm going to make the dough. Actually, the dough is quite easy to make. What you need is just flour, all-purpose flour. This is five cups of them and water. Water usually you need like five cups of uh, flour, about one half cup water, I mean, uh, yeah, one and a half cup water to two cups. Each time could be a little bit different. Um, so two cups, I'm also, you, you'll be perfect. And later on, after I start to make it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so you may wonder about, so how, for this dough, for cooking for how many people dumpling? Usually it's like this. This one is perfect for four people to eat. Usually it's perfect, no problem. And uh, usually, uh, like my family, we only have two of us. So I will uh, make some extra dumplings and usually I'm going to freeze them inside of fridge. Like you guys, usually you have some frozen pizza in the fridge, right? So to Chinese people, we love to make some dumpling and freeze them in the fridge. So whenever, um, you know, you're busy work, you don't have time to cook, you can just simply put them out, heat up by microwave or microwave oven or just, you know, put like one tablespoon of oil, uh, slightly frying will be perfect for another good dinner for you. So anyway, let's start it. You also need chopstick. I really, you know, um, because we Chinese people, we truly cook a lot of things with ch chopsticks. I know you have different kinds of machine or tools, but this is just uh, my way to do it. And when you mix the dough, another thing that is you are not going to pour the whole water into it. No, you need to drip the water little by little, just like this. And then mix them. Put this side. This is what I mean, little by little. Another thing why I like to use chopstick, I learned it from my mom. Because, you know, at the beginning, if you mix it like this with just your fingers, it will be really stuck everywhere. So, I mean, sticky on your fingers everywhere. So, chopsticks will be easier. After it grow, you know, tighter to each other, sticky to each other, then you just, you know, use your hand to make them into a firm dough it will be easier and better. make sure there's no flour, I mean dry flour powder at the bottom. And 
now is better time for you to use your hand. Give more press to make them together. See, I still have some right here. See, this way it's much easier. You don't have so many, you know, flour truly sticking in our hand. When you press it, just, you know, like this way to turn the pot. Make sure, you know, every corner of the dough get all this pressure to press them together. Like this, when you poke it like this, you can check, you know, this is how firm you want it. You don't want it uh, too soft. This is, will be perfect, good. And uh, after that, you're going to cover it with a lid, make it sit for an hour. And then the dough itself actually will go more smooth, not like this with so many bumpy things. It will turn it out by itself. Don't worry about that. Just make it sit, uh, room temperature outside in their kitchen, don't freeze them, in the kitchen will be perfect. Make it sit and again for an hour and then it's ready for your dumpling. Alright, so um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this uh, uh, video and come to my website to check about uh, my recipes about how to cook Chinese dumpling and my New Year's Eve, all of the celebration, I mean all of the big dinner I cook. So. Um, if you have any question, please leave it down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.